right, so hey, welcome everyone. Um, here with Alan Olivas, um, just to share a little bit of how the Lord's been working in his life. Um, and so this is a fun conversation, Alan, because we first met a few years ago. Is it how long ago was it that you first went through Alpha? Uh, is the summer 2017? Wow, yeah, uh, yeah, it's about so, three years. Okay. So that was a really cool story. I mean, and, and that this isn't about that story. It's more more recently how you've been, how you've been growing, what God, what's God been doing in your life. But back then, just to recap, if I, if I recall correctly, you came to church. You were really struggling. You went to look for the priest yeah. about just the feelings you were having. And, and Father Henry said, well, oh, we have this thing. Alpha starts tomorrow night. So you and your wife, you came uh, the next night, ended up going through Alpha and had a really great experience. You reconnected with the church. Then you invited your parents, your brother, your sister, your whole family. It seems like oh, yeah. it, a lot of your family really reconnected and strengthened their relationship with God and the church through the, your first experience of, of Alpha. Is that kind of it in a nutshell? Very much. That nail on the head, man. The, just the ripple effect, seeing seeing it's just awesome yeah yeah it's very, been very very it's been a very transformative last um uh three years really but mm. uh, it's been exciting it's been um it's been awesome yeah so and now you've become somewhat of an alpha celebrity because you are an <laughs> mc and uh you're up front in front of the group and obviously you have a great personality and make people feel really comfortable and stuff so that's really been cool to see you become a, you know, go from being a newbie and just kind of reconnecting to being a, a leader in Alpha. So, but specifically, yeah. I just, I'm anxious to hear about, um, you know, how you've been maybe since then, how you more recently have been growing. The past year, I have, um, I've been going through, um, well, I've been going using the Bible in one year to kind of explore the Bible more and get more familiar with the Gospels and with uh, the Old Testament as well. Really, really awesome stuff. And then uh, I've been going through foundations with Brad and some other guys, and that's been just – that has just – looking back at where we started and where I'm at now and where I, I want to be is just so overwhelmingly awesome. It's just – it's cool there's been so much change and there's been so much connection and so much growth it, both from me and with my, with the guys that I, we're going through this with. I mean, it's, it's been awesome. The fellowship's amazing, but just, um, just feeling the Lord, seeing his presence, seeing everything, all the blessings, everything he's done in my life, how he's kind of prepared us for everything, including what we're going through, uh, all the opportunities that he's put before us so that we can, weather the storms and just kind of trust in him has been really, really cool. And the fact that I can say things like that, talk like this, I never, a year ago, no, nah, man, I would have been able to talk like that. Been wow. so so, it. Which is so interesting to hear that because Alpha initially, you, you went from being very disconnected, feeling distant from the church to making a connection. But it wasn't yeah. like if a, a flip, just switched completely and now you're this like jesus all the time i mean you were still the journey mm -hmm. along struggling with maybe really trusting in god and, mm -hmm. and trust and, and being committed to the church um so something changed in this and just a quick little um background just so people know foundations is a new act yet to be launched discipleship course so you were in one of the original pilot groups for foundations and it's a part of uh, uh our discipleship pathway that will be introduced more broadly to the parish in about august and push back a little bit but there's a specifically a course called the foundations course that is meant to be uh, around uh, discipleship really growing in your uh, friendship with the lord really growing and and deepening your relationship with god okay, so share a little bit more about what 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 what, what were your big takeaways from that experience? From foundations? Oh, man. I mean, uh, I've learned to, I mean, I've really learned to appreciate the Bible as the living word to kind of be able to read it. it. In the past, 
you know, going through the Bible in one year, it always felt, and I always I felt a little bit guilty, but it always felt like just kind of, um, I was, I was almost, uh, reading it leisurely or reading it just to kind of know it just to kind of, uh, Oh yeah, I've read that, you know, just at a very surface level, but I never really dove into it. I never really got to examine it or kind of swim through all the wisdom and everything in the word. And so being able to go through some of the things we've done in foundations, um, learning about uh, just other ways to read it and approach it and the way that we kind of have been doing it for the past several weeks, uh, just examining one verse or maybe a chapter uh, just, and, and just unpacking all the weight in it, all the, the, the love and the majesty and it's just been so so incredible i get done with our night and i'll go tell my wife like all right man here's what we talked about and we'll examine it and i'll say hey what do you get out of that what 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 do you feel what what speaks to you you know and so we just have conversations so it's really really cool it's really it's been so incredible mm. to be able to experience that to be able to learn that you know that the bible a book that i've had on my shelf forever uh, can speak to me today every day in a different way that's so impactful and so personal hmm. that's been really cool yeah so would you just kind of say that foundations and this whole uh, god's been maturing you in faith in in really having a maybe a deepening of what it means to have a lived relationship with with him yeah Is that kind of the, what god's doing in this season of your life i think it's been like Going through Alpha was um, and just like it is Alpha. It's the beginning. It, it started me down the path, but I, I went through it for a while um, and uh, just found I was hungry. I wanted more and more. And Foundations really kind of kicked it in a little bit deeper and helped me build that relationship, helped me to actually see where I might be having problems and, and helped me to trust, really. Um, and I still have problems with that, but it's, it's still, we're growing. And I feel that relationship I have with the Lord has been, um, it, we're growing together and we're becoming more familiar with each other. And I can see all the fruits that he's, he's given me, uh, just blooming, man. It's pretty cool. Uh, I remember having lunch with him one day and he told me, I was like, what's that like that journey? He goes, it's hard. He goes, but it's so worth it. And and looking back in the past three years, I can definitely say, yeah, it's been challenging. It's been really tough at sometimes, but it's been, I wouldn't change it. It's been incredible. That's great. And maybe that's just a good way to wrap up, you know, that, you know, since you had this deep first encounter with the Lord through Alpha, that yeah. th there's been this journey and it hasn't been all, you know, rainbows and, and bubble gum and rainbows and, and, but you've continued to persevere and, and God really seems like molding you and shaping you and drawing you deeper. I guess any, any final thoughts as we wrap up? Um, no, I mean, it's, uh, like I just said, yeah, like we just said, it, it's been challenging, but, uh, it's definitely been very, very worth it. I'm, I'm very thankful Last night we talked about uh, Jesus drawing alongside us. And has there ever been experiences like that that we can recall? And for me, just kind of thinking about it, it's been a little tough to kind of just on the spot, oh, this. But my friends kind of pointed out, well, hey, Father Henry telling you you should try Alpha when you were really seeking, that was the thing. I was like, oh, what? Mind blown. So there's been so many things that uh, I can look back in hindsight and see as just definite moments where he's been calling out to me and, and meeting me where I'm at and uh that I um I just strive to kind of keep my eyes open now and uh, meet him where he's at as well so I don't know awesome that's awesome I'm excited, dude. You're, cool. you're such you're such a, a, a when you think of why do we exist as a church what's it all about you know I, I just think of your story and, and just your conversion and continued growth you know our vision is to bring people to Jesus, to form disciples, and to send them to transform the world. And I feel like you're you embody that. You were really brought to Jesus, and now you're you're being formed as in deeper as a disciple. And uh, and I think a part of that, and I think a part of the last part of foundations is continuing to know God's particular and unique calling on your life um, and being sent to transform the world. You're already doing it through Alpha as a leader in Alpha, and so. It'd be fun to just see how God continues to use you as you grow as a, 
man of God and really grow as a pillar in our community. So um, yeah, Alan, super good to reconnect with you and just to hear God's continued favor and just blessing in your life. So thanks for saying yes and uh, look forward to seeing you around the parish soon. Yeah, man, definitely. It was good to talk to you. It's good to see you again. I hope you and the family and everybody stay healthy and safe. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon.